Welcome to Zhejiang Jianda Aviation Industry University Research Base, brought to you by GAD. A place where innovation soars high, and collaboration takes flight. Nestled in the heart of Zhejiang Province, this cutting-edge establishment serves as a vibrant hub for the convergence of academia, industry, and groundbreaking research in the field of aviation. Here, the future of aviation is being shaped by brilliant minds, industry experts, and talented students who are passionate about pushing the boundaries of flight technology. Forming the space according to the trend Zhejiang Jianda Aviation Industry University Research Base. In recent years, the aviation industry in China has accelerated rapidly. Relying on this, Jianda Aviation Town has become the only characteristic town in Zhejiang Province to build the whole industrial chain of general aviation. Jianda Aviation Training Base is located in the center of Jianda Aviation Town, which will focus on the role of aviation training and education. As the first practice for GAD to adopt general contracting mode of EPC project, the project integrates design creativity and construction activities, and constantly adjusts materials, process, cost, construction quality, schedule, coordination and management and other links, so as to achieve a high degree of completion of the design. Design philosophy of taking advantage of the trend. Jianda Aviation Training Base itself is a small mound. With mountains rolling in the distance, the dialogue between architecture, mountains, water and history begins. Preserving the original nature of the site was the starting point of our design. Taking a page from Jeffrey Bawa's approach to the relationship between architecture and nature, it is relaxing and enjoyable for the users, while inspiring us to give the site a rich spatial experience. Therefore, under the natural curtain, artificial intervention in the base landform should be minimized as far as possible, and the strategy of integrating mountain and diverting water should be used to shape with the situation to create a sense of land rich in natural memory. It continues the impression of rolling mountains. The building adopts the roof with undulating slope, the appearance of which is strewn at random, presenting the contrast between extending upward and connecting the ground downward. Focusing on the internal terrain, the design adopts three separate but closely connected groups of buildings with U-shaped and L-shaped forms enclosing the inner courtyard. The logistics function space is placed on the west side of the plot, and the space for teaching, meeting and other functions is placed on the east side of the plot. The composite space functions do not interfere with each other. In addition, the water body is another continuation of the memory of the place. There was no water channel in the site originally, so we introduced the pond in the southwest of the site to create a water space and a water-friendly wandering path. Place empathy for wandering experience. Walking under the corridor, complying with the ups and turns of the terrain, the mood also relaxes with the footsteps. The prototype of this kind of wandering experience comes from the 21 villa around the town, which uses the connecting corridor system to organically connect the building with the external environment achieving a rare place empathy. The whole building volume is stilted and supported by thin columns, forming a gray space under the veranda for free shuttling and walking. Different spatial scales deepen the multiple dimensions of the wandering experience. Along this landscape corridor, teaching buildings, hotels and offices at the core of the campus are efficiently connected with other public supporting spaces. On the premise of not destroying the basic form of the mountain, it maximizes the use of space, and appropriately cuts and gouges the mountain to form the space where the entrance activity square and lecture hall are integrated into the mountain. The entrance square that stimulates communication, the book bar adjacent to the water, and the outdoor steps suitable for rest and reading are subtly interspersed on the wandering path, which are suitable for movement and stillness presenting varying sceneries with changing viewpoints. Organic integration of the landscape and the architecture. The combination of landscape and architecture has real growth under the ferment of time, which is the fourth dimension. Architecture provides landscape with boundary, scale, form and background, 
While landscape reshapes the spirit of place and activates the overall space system from the perspective of spatial attributes and functional requirements. Stones, water features, planting and other elements seem to be randomly thrown into the gray space so that the dialogue between architecture and landscape is further strengthened. They are arranged as discreetly as possible and permeate naturally and skillfully by means of overhead, overhanging, connection, embedding and enclosure. It creates a well-retractable outdoor and semi-outdoor space system, breaking the boundary between architecture and landscape, and incorporating landscape into the spatial layout of the building to the greatest extent.